Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with a really exciting project. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to build a portable, concealable, live streaming IP camera. We're going to be using the Raspberry Pi Zero Model W. This is the Wi-Fi version, so this means that as we're walking around, we can be streaming video from this thing. We are going to be using the Raspberry Pi camera. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your gear together. And so go down in the description below this video on YouTube and click on our link to our page on toptechboy.com where we show you where you can get all the gear you need to do this project. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi Zero Model W. You're going to need an SD card that is formatted uh, with the operating system. I show you how to do that in earlier lessons. You're going to need the Raspberry Pi camera and you're going to need a special cable. Now the cable that comes with the Raspberry Pi camera is made for the Raspberry Pi 3. You're going to need to order a cable for about five bucks that will allow you to connect the Raspberry Pi camera to the Raspberry Pi Model Zero. So that is the gear that you're going to need in order to, to do this project. So go ahead to the link below, get your gear ordered if you don't have any of this stuff. If you have the stuff, we'll giddy up. Let's get ready to go. All right, so what we're going to do is the first thing that you need to do in order to do this project, let me see if I can come over here, you need to go to the most excellent website, toptechboy.com, and you need to find our earlier lesson that shows you how to hook up the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, Model W. And I think I can show you that here. You go to, uh, let, let me get out of your way here. All right. There we go. You go to www.toptechboy.com and then you can search on Raspberry Pi Zero Model DW tutorial setting up and booting the Pi Zero W. Okay, so what I do in that lesson is I show you the simplest way to get a Raspberry Pi Zero Model W up and running and get its IP address. Because in order to do this lesson, you don't need a lot of cables. You don't need a lot of connectors. You don't need a lot of adapters. You need a power cable, a battery. This battery is bigger than you want than you need, but it's just a USB. Uh, it's a USB battery that uh, I had laying around. Doesn't need to be this big. So you need a power cable, and you need the Raspberry Pi and the camera and that's it. You don't need all that other stuff but the one thing that you will need is you will need the wireless IP address of your uh, Raspberry Pi Zero and to get the, the uh, IP address I show you that in this previous lesson Raspberry Pi Zero Model W tutorial setting up and booting the Pi Zero. So I'm assuming at this point that you have your gear I'm assuming at this point that you know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. All right, so with that, what we are going to do is go back to the picture where you can see what I'm doing. Live overhead, boom, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in. Now what's very important is you plug it into this one because this is power. You plug it into the corner USB connector. That is for power. And so I will bring the cable in and I will carefully power this thing up and that little cable is right in my way where it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so I believe that we have power there. And what we are very anxiously anxiously hoping to see is we are hoping to see a happy little green light here in a minute indicating that that thing is booting up. Uh, but we are going to anticipate success. I'll put the, let's see if I can kind of get the battery in here as well. Look at that, the happy little green light, the happy little green light. Okay, so we are now going to putty in to this. Uh, if you don't have PuTTY, you can just download PuTTY. It's very easy onto a Windows machine. And I am going to do that now. And I'm going to set this up where you can see it a little better. Uh, 
I'm making the font bigger. Let me uh, let me switch this over so you can see what I'm doing. I believe this is the one I want. Yeah. Okay. So I am connecting by putty, and I'm going to make the putty font a lot bigger so you can see. Okay. And now I'm going to connect. And if you looked at my last video, you know that my IP address is 10. Dot 1.15.37 now you need to use your IP address not my IP address so you're going to putty you're going to SSH into your Raspberry Pi you're going to use your IP address mine is 10.1.15.37 so I'm going to connect here and with a little luck boom uh, hopefully this is big enough where you are able to see it, so I'm going to log in as Pi, and then R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Okay, you can hack my Pi now that I have my super secure password on it. Okay, it looks like that we're on. All right, now, how do you get this camera working? Well, if you look at two lessons ago, I showed you how to get the camera working with a Raspberry Pi 3. If you still have that card that you created for the Raspberry Pi 3, you just need to go get it. Okay, You need to go get it and you need to connect it into this and boot off that because that will actually work and it'll do everything that you need. <clears throat> if you have not done that lesson yet, shame on you. Shame on you. But what you can do is, you can do it now. You can go to toptechboy.com. You want to go to this tab, which says Raspberry Pi with Linux Lessons. Click on that. And then you need to come down to, the, you need to come down to Raspberry Pi lesson number 38. Okay. You go to lesson number 38. And there, we give you a video that shows you how to do it step by step and along with the video we give you the commands one at a time to show you how to get your Raspberry Pi 3 working with your camera okay if you haven't done that you can do this lesson on the Raspberry Pi 0 or you can do it on the Raspberry Pi 3 and then bring your card over to the Raspberry Pi 0 but I'm not going to go through this step by step because I show you where to do it and most of you have already done this on the earlier lesson. Okay, And you go through all of these steps and you can go through the steps and watch the video at the same time because it's kind of tedious. But if you go through it, had a lot of people, I've got 152 shares on this lesson on, uh, on Facebook so there's been a lot of people that have done it and they're reporting back to me that it's actually working. Okay, and the very last step is this one where we actually get the command that we need to run the camera. Okay, so now we're going to come back. Remember, we are logged on. We are logged on to this Raspberry Pi right here, the Raspberry Pi Zero. So we're going to give that command now to fire up this camera. And with a little luck, it should all work. Now, hopefully you already did that Lesson 38. If you didn't, you need to run and do Lesson 38 so that your camera will work as well. But once you've done it, you should be able to put in this most confusing command. I really should explain this a little bit. Raspy uh, vid, that is the canned program that turns the, 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 the Raspberry Pi camera on in the video mode. And then uh, this width is 1080 by 720. I have auto white balance turned on. I have uh, 30 frames per second. I rotate it 90 degrees because for my application I want the, the image rotated. Uh, this is the amount of data that's coming t through. It looks like it is 1.2 megabits. And then this is the minus O, the output, where you want the output to go. Well, where I am sending the output is to a program called FFmpeg, and then FFmpeg is going to stream, is going to stream that video to an IP address. Okay, now this command will not work unless you have done all of Lesson 38. So this command will only work when you have done all of Lesson 38. 
But if you have done all of Lesson 38, you can hit Enter now in your PuTTY window, and that should fire up your camera. And in fact, if I look over here now at the camera, you can see that the light came on. The light has come on, indicating that ca the camera is running. Okay, so we have entered the command, and the light has come on, and the camera is running. Okay. So again, you've got to go through that Lesson 38 either on your Pi Zero or on a Pi 3. It might be easier to do on a Pi 3 and then just move the card over. But then when you enter this most magical raspy vid command, it should be streaming a live stream that you can pick up in a browser. So, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth comes. We come to our browser. We type in our IP address. This will only work if you've done Lesson 38 already, but I type in 10.1.15. Don't use my IP address. Use your IP address. Previous lesson shows you how to get that .37. We hold our breath. Okay. We hold our breath on this one, and then we hit Enter. And we have a boom scared me all right let's look I guess I shouldn't have rotated it 90 degrees there we go okay oh my goodness we have live video let's see if we can go full screen with this thing ladies and gentlemen let's see if we can go full screen boom full screen okay full screen there full screen hello hello Okay, I want to show you something here. Let me leave that for just a second. This is the really, really amazing thing to me. And the really, really, really amazing thing. Man, I've got so many windows I am trying to keep track of here. The really, really amazing thing to me is we have on this, ladies and gentlemen, one cord. We have one cord going to a battery. We have one cord going to a battery and we have the camera. Okay, so let's see if we can go portable with this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the trick here, I am completely confident in my manhood, so we are going with a pink hard hat on this and we are going to see if we can make a portable streaming camera. I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the secret is, is going to be to not pull that cable out as I start fooling with this thing. So we're going to see if we can get this hooked up without pulling that little cable out. So, you know, most people would make a nice little box. Most people would pull out their 3D printer and, and print up a little super cool thing to connect this up with. But I am going to use the tape method to see if I can just get something that works. And then maybe we'll come back later and 3D print a case for it. But I'm going to get some tape put together. Main thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we do not want to pull that little camera cable out. So we're going to be extra careful with that. And so we're going to come here. Ooh, that was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. And we're going to see if we can tape this on here like this. Okay, I believe I've got that. Now let's see if we can get the pie up here like this. Now the real question is going to be in doing this, did we jiggle the cable too much and lose our lose our stream? So let me come back over here. Oh man, we seem to be live. Look at this. All right, we have this thing working and we are ready to go. Do you want me to walk around the room and sort of show you what my work environment looks like? You probably think I'm in like a super high-tech New York City studio. Well, I'll show you the real behind the scenes here with this. But to do that, I need to call up the window that we were streaming to, which is, with a little luck, right here. Okay. So now you get to see what I see. And I'm going to walk around the room. 
and you might not be able to hear me because I don't have a microphone on this thing right now, but I'll sort of show you around the room, okay? So we will look here, and you can see that I've got a green screen back here, okay? Green screen, and then you can see just what an incredible mess. You can see what an incredible mess my workspace is. And we will see if I can kind of get this about eye level. Okay, that looks like about eye level. All right, so here we have Austin Allman. Austin, can you wave? Okay. Austin has a nice coffee maker in here. He's in here pretty much all day working on his stuff. Okay. Over here, we've got our ham radio stuff. One of our students was on the cover of QST Magazine this month. Very proud of her. Got a Helicrafter amplifier. Kenwood TS2000, bunch of junk, another nice coffee maker. I hope you guys are seeing all this. I think that you're seeing a little, a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Nice coffee maker. Nice Helicrafter amplifier. Uh, I can't see what you're seeing, so I'm just walking around. You can see we got a nice quadcopter. I'll give you a sneak preview of Eagle 7. This is Eagle 7 as it's coming together here. Walk around the room. More equipment. Hopefully you can see this. This is how Eagle 6 worked, all the software and hardware that went into Eagle 6. More students' projects. Just kind of walk around and show you everything in the room that we have going here. Okay, so hopefully Hopefully, you could see that. I think this is one of the most exciting projects that I have done. Hopefully, some of you guys will try it. Leave a comment below. If you like this, think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel. Paul McWhorter, TopTechBoy.com, signing off.